So just wanted to make a quick MLB news video for you guys talking about the Cincinnati Reds and Tyler Glass now this 2023-24 MLB offseason. So here on the screen is a tweet from MLB Deadline News on Twitter which says the Cincinnati Reds were close on terms with Sonny Gray before Gray agreed to terms with the St. Louis Cardinals per M underscore Sheldon which is Mark Sheldon uh, who is a Reds beat reporter for MLB.com. Uh, Sheldon notes Cincinnati also has interest in Ray starting pitcher Tyler Glass now, who's readily available on the trade market. Tampa Bay wants MLB ready talent in return for Tyler Glass now. So, yeah, there was some news earlier today of Sonny Gray officially signing with the St. Louis Cardinals. I believe that the terms of the contract were three years, $75 million total, so that's about $25 million per year. So, shout out to Sonny Gray and his family. A uh, pretty big time payday for him there. But uh, if you are the Cincinnati Reds or a fan of the Reds, the idea of them going after Tyler Glass now has to be pretty appealing because if they're able to add some more star talent to this team, especially the starting rotation, they could definitely be building something special in Cincinnati for the foreseeable future. So Tyler Glass now uh, is, of course, a player available on the trade market this offseason. Uh, Tyler Glass now is probably not going to be heading back to the Tampa Bay Rays because he doesn't have a contract beyond this year. So uh, for 2025 free agency, Tyler Glass now is going to be one of the better players available. So if you are the, are the Rays and sort of how they run their franchise, Players like Tyler Glass now are going to be traded one way or another. Prior to the start of the 2024 season, I would definitely uh, pretty much guarantee that. Now, if he were to go to the Reds, that'd be pretty intriguing. The Reds are definitely a team on the rise. You know, the emergence of players like, uh, you know, Spencer Steer, Ali Deal de Cruz last year, some other players as well. They were pretty fun to watch. And if they're able to add Tyler Glass now to this rotation next year, they could very well be a sort of a dark horse playoff team and possibly even win that division next year with how sort of wide open the NL Central is, in my personal opinion. But last year for Tyler Glass now in St. Louis, it was a or sorry, in uh, Tampa Bay. It was a pretty solid season, uh, putting up a two-war season, 10 one seven losses, an area of 3.53, uh, 21 games played, 120 innings pitched, 162 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.083. So uh, for the uh, Cincinnati Reds, if they were definitely in on, the, uh, in on potentially signing uh, Sonny Gray to a contract, I, I think perhaps pivoting to someone who's a little bit younger with a little bit more upside in Tyler Glass. That might not be a terrible idea. Uh, this would be a good sign for the fan base, and if they're able to re-sign Tyler Glass into a multi-year extension beyond this year, It'd be a step in the, in the right direction for this franchise, in my personal opinion. So we'll keep an eye on Tyler Glass now, possibly going to the Cincinnati Reds via the trade market this offseason. Now, what does the trade look like? Your guess is pretty much as good as mine. Leave all your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.